So welcome to a brand new webisode. I'm driving home. It is um, 6.30 on Monday night? Monday night. I just left the CDO auditorium for the Fast and Furious Forum. Um, it's early, uh, but uh, I need to get home and get to sleep. And thankfully, uh, two things. I had the luxury of being able to be backstage with Congressman Gosar and uh, the Pinal County Sheriff, um, Vince Sheffalu, who was on the show this morning. So I was able to actually get a bit of the inside scoop from those guys about what was going on. One thing, just in regards to Fast and Furious, was uh, the fact there was a report that came out today saying that it was paid for with taxpayer dollars, and apparently that was not the case. It was not paid for with taxpayer dollars. Um, uh, Congressman Gosar was uh, was actually on the phone with his people, and I'm totally driving distracted. But uh, driving, it was on the phone with his people and uh, and confirming that was not the case. So, uh, Katie Pavlich from Townhall.com is going to be on the show. She'll be in studio on Tuesday, and uh, if you missed any of it, if you're watching this late, um, we'll have we'll definitely have her time in studio up uh, as a podcast. She's promised to give me a little bit extra time um, and to hang out with us. The one point I wanted to make with today's webisode was um, I had a chance to get up in front of the crowd, which was which was nice of Trent Humphreys and, and Jennifer Humphreys from the Tucson Tea Party to allow me to get up in front of everybody. Um, I'm usually so, show, uh, so crowd shy. Uh, um, not really. But they wanted me to open up the, the, the event. And uh, the room was packed. Um, you know, Trent was concerned, and you're always concerned when you put on an event like this that there, weren't, there wasn't going to be a lot of people. And I had no doubt that there was going to be a lot of people there tonight. People that want to know the truth about what's going on with this. But it's just so funny because it flies right in the face of Pima County Democratic shock chairman Jeff Rogers who made the comment in the article that the Arizona Daily Star put out last week that the Tea Party was suddenly now all quiet on the Tucson front and irrelevant. Um, and I told Trent last week and I told the same thing to the crowd. I said, you know, look, um, I'd rather see quality than quantity. And tonight was the quality. This is what the Tea Party is about. This is people coming out and letting their voice be heard and trying to get the truth. And it's why the Tea Party has had such an effect on the country that you, you cannot hear commentary about what's going on in Congress or the White House without hearing, you know, Tea Party Republican or in a negative light, tea baggers or tea publicans or whatever. Um, they're still very relevant and they're incredibly relevant in Tucson and they're going to be relevant in this election in six weeks. There's no doubt in my mind. Even through no major efforts in terms of helping the candidates because it's not you know it's not what they do just in terms of getting more people involved than they ever have been and it was just such a another great opportunity to see the people come out in tucson um and just how relevant the tea party still is you know they you know when they do their tea party rallies they want to have you know a big crowd and for them to get 600 people in an auditorium on a monday night during Monday Night Football with the Redskins and Dallas playing. Yes, don't be surprised. I know who's playing. Only because Dale Earnhardt Jr. is a Redskins fan. Um, it, it, that was an accomplishment. And uh, thankfully, I have Katie coming in to give us all the details. So so that I can go home and play Hot Wheels and uh, go to sleep. So thanks for watching. James T. Harris is in town. I'm excited. He starts next Monday right after my show. I'll see if I can't get him in studio to come hang with me a bit before he... Uh, before he starts his show next week. So maybe get a bit of a preview if they let me. So, all right, thanks for watching. I'm almost home. I don't want to wreck my car. Talk to you later. Bye.